Yeah, what a fantastic day. Back to reality with chicken turds. Woohoo! Hot, oh, innit? I am living the dream. And it's hot out here. Did I mention it was hot? No, oh, okay, cool. Shh, don't tell them. They are a little secret. Yes, of course I am. Why else would I do it? And it is a glorious tan. I've got white bits and everything. I can feel a disturbance in the force. And it is proper roasting out here. Where are the cows at? Time for a sombrero if I stand out in the sun much longer. Five degrees tander today. Tander? So I am toasted. You can see how long a day I've had. So just a word of warning to you all. That's about no. We need we need people that <laughs> dare I say it. Hello Fenlanders, welcome to Fenland Farming Adventures. I'm Daniel, I will be your host for the channel, majority of the time anyway. So we're gonna start Thursday's videos tonight on Wednesday and we have just got back from the Nomac, Normac cultivation demo day, which I have to say was freaking amazing. I met some super cool people, George Saunders being one of them, Lord Mutt being the other one. Me and Martin had a hoop. Ooh, what have I got from Amazon? Ooh. They send loads of packaging for that. All of the stuff I buy from Amazon is all on our shop in the link in the description below. And all of our clothing is in the link in the description below as well. So if you want to help push our channel forward, you can subscribe, which doesn't cost you anything. It really helps push us forward. And if you want to be a true Fenlander, you can go and get yourself a t-shirt. Proper comfy. I grow, I grow the best potatoes on the planet and I wouldn't have any other clothing line unless they were good quality so proper good proper comfy but i keep spilling oil on them look at them little beauties look fresh from amazon normally amazon stuff is a bit chocolatey but that's all good well happy with that what make are they duratech honk 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 so uh we should be able to get some oil filters off with that bad boy i've got an oil filter on a 6610 that needs to come off and weirdly they sent that as well which is a I have sort of got one of them somewhere, but it kept slipping, so I need one that's going to bite in a bit. So hopefully that'll be the kitty. Without further ado, let's get on with our first day video. It's been an awesome day. Like I said, George Saunders is going to be nice. Uh, Lord Muck took me for a cruise around in the shelter. Mr. Turnip's tractor, and I had a play in that. So that was cool. There's loads of videos going around on the uh, classic farming sites of me and Lord Muck cruising up and down in it, which was well cool. So, today's plan is... To go and have a look and see how much chicken muck i got on the field if he's only bought one load and it doesn't smell too bad i might leave it there for a few days and then after the weekend me and bailey will just crack on and get it shifted let's uh go and have a look yeah what a fantastic day back to reality with chicken turds Woohoo! say so george saunders asked how anna was anna's proper disappointed she couldn't get there kind of like all the all the youtube royalty and stuff all know who i am now or who we are so that can't be uh it can't be only a good thing so so we're going to get this filling up with dinosaur bone while we're at it. Seems a shame to get this dirty and then have to wash it down again, but I can't leave the chicken up there. I want to put it on the field where it needs to go, so it makes sense to me. Get it mixed together with some nice fluffy straw that I've sorted out. Hot, isn't it? Right, dinosaur bones are done. I'm trying to think how to work this, really. It's going to be like a multitasking operation, really, because I've got this loader. I kind of want a loader with a bucket on. And then I want a loader with the straw grab on. Well, this is this works a straw grab. Yeah, let's put a straw grab on this one. Ugh. This load is a bit bigger than the other one. Gotta remember that. Come on, don't hit the wall. Gotta try and get out now. Ugh, wrong way. Oh, now I can't see my mirror that I'm about to. Yeah, without the bale, the muck grab, I can't pick them bales up, put them on a trailer and cart them to the field. And without the other one, I can't load no chicken muck. So I am living the dream. And it's hot out here. Did I mention it was hot? No, oh, okay, cool. Woo! I need a little fan. Not a little fan, like one for my autograph, but I need a little fan for my uh, GoPro. Man, it was hot. So hot that I couldn't hardly take the battery out of the GoPro. It was so hot, it was unbelievable. Unreal. Warm. Gotta scrape all this straw up. I left it all over Nutty Nana's uh, garden there while she's away. Shh, don't tell her. They are a little secret. In all my wisdom yesterday, which is quite wisdomatic, I uh, decided I was going to chop some straw, but I've uh, kind of buried my trailer. Shut that up for a minute. Obviously, I always get out of the loader with the handbrake on. Ah! 
handed all my wisdom and I left my brand new Agrico bale string cutting knife under all that straw as well. So thanks to Agrico, I have no idea how they got them in from Holland, but they did. Just kidding, I think they bought in this country. Go and find somewhere for me string. <coughs> Try and <coughs> tidy my trailer up because uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a doofus really. But you all knew that anyway, so. Yeah, my cousin Maya came through this morning and was like, uh, what was the plan recovering your trailer? You're trying to camouflage it? Yes, of course I am. What else would I do? Lovely fluffy stuff that is. That's perfect for making a bed of straw for my muck to sit on. So it's gonna take a couple of days, I think, to chop all these bales up. I've got loads of bales to chop about. But I think it'll be worth the hassle in the end. So let's get on with it. That's what my plan is for the next few days. Get this trailer loaded with straw. And then I better clean the drawbar down so I can actually see it. Better do it all on the field, otherwise Nutty Nana will be aching after me. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Step forward. Now I'm going to use this bale uh, for my first trick as a, uh, a bit of a yard brush. Or should I say a trailer sweeping brush. Then once I get the trailer loaded and out of the way, Not a bit of good housekeeping. Keep your trailers clean and don't cover them with straw. Just plonk a load of bales on top of there. Then I can take them to the field with us to chop up. There we go, Nutty Nana will never know that we've been chopping straw in our garden. What a beautiful evening. You can probably see by my glorious tan. And it is a glorious tan. I've got white bits and everything. Look at that, it looks like we're on Mars. I don't know if the camera does that justice or not. That real eerie, hazy, sunny, wetty hot, beautiful sunset. I took the dogs out for a little tiny walk when I got back from Normac. Norac? Normac. Nomac. Nomac. And uh, they, they weren't happy about it. Just took them across the field and round like half walk compared to their normal full walk. So we got the JCB ready. I've got one trailer ready. Two trailers ready. How's your day been? Today's been great. Uh, I can't lie. Uh, Wednesday today, I think, all day. I've had meetings with George Saunders, which is fun. Obviously, it's fun hanging out with Martin all the time. Lord Muck, couldn't have been nicer. Done some filming for us, uh, which was awesome. It's proper cool. All of these guys are proper YouTube royalty, so can't thank them enough. Yeah, Layla, obviously, Fen Farming. Rob couldn't make it today, but Layla was there with Agrifat. She managed to butter them up and let me have a go tour around in an Agrifat, so that was nice. So thanks to Layla. I wasn't sure what to expect when I got to the show this morning, but Ben Burgess were there in force. Um, they had loads of stuff out on demo. Um, there's so many people to name. Gavin obviously works for Case. I can't remember what their I can't remember what their uh, trader name is, but Gavin, if you're watching, hello. Uh, cheers for a little chat. And everyone, Bruce at, uh, at um, Cousins. Uh, yeah, I really wasn't sure what to expect, but uh, in the end, it was um, absolutely awesome. It's a proper good day out. I got to drive the shorter, which was cool. So many cool tractors. Obviously, went out in that 924, which was a proper beast. I don't know whether you'll be out here, the audio in it too well. I mean, the video would all be out, so you would have seen all the cool and interesting people that I saw today. Uh, loads of cool. Apello, is it the um, Italian manufacturer of Parahara's and stuff like that? Um, Owen was really good. Yeah, just a really fun day. And now I've got ready to do chicken turds tomorrow. Yeah, had a whale of a time. So let me know how your day was, what's gone right and what's gone wrong. Nothing's gone wrong today. I can feel a disturbance in the force. So hopefully nothing goes wrong tomorrow. Good Thursday morning, Fernandez. How are we doing? Uh, Bailey in today. He owes me a fingernail. It broke down on his moped. I got my finger caught between his brake caliper and his disc, which was first breakdown of the day. Then the second breakdown of the day, because um, I nearly cried. So I'm gonna lose a finger now there, I reckon. Operation, chopped some straw. I've got the other loader there. I've got to get this chicken muck cleared up. Little John Deere loader through there. Got the 215 there. Got a trailer load of straw, which is aces. And I got the other loader. So big operation going on this morning. Stupid always happens, doesn't it? Right, figure out where I'm going to load the straw from and how I'm going to load it and where it's going to blow to. Hopefully we um, have a good day. Get some bales munched through. Get some chicken muck cleared up. No, it's going to be a bit awkward. I'm going to try and film as much as possible, but I just... It's going to be a bit awkward. I'm going to be floating around like a headless chicken, so... So, yesterday I 
already said it was a fun day it was unbelievable to hang out with george saunders and stuff and um lord muck uh, it was really cool and then to have a message saying how nice it was to uh, hang out for uh, but at least an hour we hang out yesterday with george last night i uh, still get giddy shall we say i still get giddy when people like george saunders like starstruck if you like not giddy you know normal bloke sat there talking to him for hours well yeah at least an hour i reckon while he was doing some filming and stuff i still get a bit starstruck you know like oh george has messaged me like youtube royalty for me i probably should have started this up to start with really shouldn't i oh well yeah should have done rookie mistake Because it ain't going to start the PTO up now, is he? Man, I have a busy morning. It's all going well. Uh, the uh, Takuma... I call it Takuma. I think Takuma sounds better, doesn't it? The old E400 has been uh, spreading straw pretty good. Uh, little and often is what you want to do. Just put little bits of straw in there. And uh, it's been chewing it up fine. But man, I've been busy. And it is proper roasting out here. I haven't been doing much filming, I'm sorry, but I'll get action shots of everything as I'm doing it. I couldn't be happier with that. I think we'll try it with a uh, new bale in it. The trouble is the bed goes so quick, it doesn't give it time to just... I'd rather sl slow the bed down half that speed and, and do a better job. Or even a quarter of that speed and uh, that would do fine, you know. So, got it all going on today. The uh, straw spreader, where the bales are so soggy wet, you just have to go steady with it. That is all. Pretty over engaged. Uh, it likes a bit of horsepower, it does like that. Say about 500, 510, 515, I think. Just right, it is hot. Let me just turn the belt on. Watch your rip. pretty good let's get it loaded up couple of scoops in the back of the trailer depending on how big a scoop is and uh, it's been working a tree but yeah look at that look one load of chopped up straw poor old load of feels like a cattle farmer now oh, where are the cows at There we go, Fernandez. It sort of does work. Woo! <clears throat> Bought something from Cheffins and it and it works okay. But the looks of it, I'm going to have to do some welding on the chains a little bit. The uh, slats look like they're fairly rotted out, but they are what they are. I am going to uh, get into my fancy party attire. Then I'm going to go back to the field. I think I cut some more uh, chicken poop. Cheers, guys. It's time for a sombrero if I stand out in the sun much longer. I'm going to leave that there ready. I'm going to put my normal hat back on. Man, I feel like I'm five degrees tander today. Tander? More tanned. Woo! Wouldn't have it any other way, would we? Love a little September sunshine. 32 degrees is what my Yaris was saying. I love that little car. It doesn't like, need 200 quid worth of fuel in it every week, which is awesome. It needs about 40 quid worth of fuel every month. Howdy. Ben Landers, sorry about the Mexican hat, been 
fecking hot today, isn't it? Christ, it's said 32 degrees here. Uh, I don't know what you've all had, but I've had my Mexican hat on trying to keep the sun off me. You can see it's not really worked. So I am toasted. I am burnt. I do like my Mexican hat. It's great for irrigating and stuff like that. It just keeps the sun off your head. Someone to put your phone, keys, you name it, you can put it up there. Today, me and Bailey have been um, shredding straw, and then we had a little issue with the uh, straw spreader. Basically, the chains weren't tight one side. See the chains in the bottom there? So I've had to clean them out, I clean the whole machine out, just straighten the chains up. They jumped a tooth or two, well, two teeth actually. Um, so we've been struggling with that, so not getting it to power on, chucking the straw in at the right rate. And then I did notice, I should have looked for this to start with really. You lot will all call me a weirdo. But that, you see that there? That is what slows the bed down. So the bed's been going at a hell of a rate. So every time we've uh, chucked some straw in there, it's tried to stall itself out. So now we've straightened the chains up, tightened them up. Hopefully it won't jump a tooth or not, uh, or, or not. You can see how long a day I've had. So this works. Awesome. Uh, you would have seen it working. Slowed the bed down, put the chains back to where they're level. Been all good. I managed to get three loads of chicken muck, lorry loads of chicken muck uh, cleared up off the field and mixed a bit with straw. So that's where that thing comes in handy. I can just uh, stop the leaching effect all the leaching then goes straight under the straw and then february time next year all that muck is still composted and still lovely so yeah we've had the fleet on the go today we've had the 215 and the 6610 how has your day been what have we got tomorrow we're going to take the potatoes out we're going to start first round of uh, spray on the potatoes to kill them off and then i've heard my cousin's been around today and he said oh i'm not growing potatoes next year if they're don't want to pay for them so just a word of warning to you all price obviously does come down this time of year because everyone wants to get going and stuff you know but price of wheat's coming down that's not good with all of our input costs being astronomical last year wheat price needs to be high it needs to be high it's a worrying times and also go and check out farmers weekly facebook page they put their six top tips to pass your red tractor assessment and almost every farmer on there has gone red tractor is a waste of time we don't need no quality assurance if imported food is not got quality assurance on it why are we doing it i mean the audit that i've just had has been ridiculous he wanted to know where all my everything was kept and stuff that i don't want people knowing kept, uh, where it's kept and they wanted to put a map on the front gate where everything was i was like no that's about no Nothing's going to change in my world. I'm still going to sweep my sheds out. I'm still going to wash my trailers out. I'm still going to make sure all my produce is kept in pristine condition. But they want me to go and put every field separate from the next field when it's all feed anyway. Even my milling wheat. We do try to keep the milling wheat separate. Uh, this year we've kept the flat stuff one side and the standing stuff the other side. And then put the late late drilled stuff, which was after sugar beet and things like that. We put that to one side as well. So that, yeah, but the millet, the feed wheat, uh, they wanted it all kept separate. And I was like, no, what does it matter to you where it's kept? They want a temperature check every week. They want a moisture check every week. It's just not necessary. It's just not necessary. I can understand them wanting a temperature check once every couple of months, maybe, but... There's nothing going to change in that shed. So my, my, most of my wheat's all going to be gone before the end of October anyway. So it has to be, otherwise I can't get my spuds in. So some of the stuff that's coming out, they should just come around and check your spray records, check your chemical stock, fertilizer stock maybe, that you've cleaned everything down. Your sheds are all... The shed's not long-term storage unless it's got a roller shut door on it. But the doors have been on there for the last 45 years, but now apparently they're not secure enough. So you got to have a roller shut door. So there's another five grand's worth of money spent. It's got out of hand. And now is the time to do something about it. So if you're interested in doing something about it, leave us a comment in the section down below. Say hello, let me know what you've been up to and let me know what your thoughts are. I know a lot of people are complaining about it. And now now is the time to start thinking about some kind of petition to say that if, we, if we're eating imported food that has no quality assurance, why are we doing quality assurance? You know, there's no need for it. There really is no need for it. I mean, 
you gotta make sure people are not using banned chemicals we gotta actually have some farmers in charge for once that actually have to go out and earn a living working hard we need we need people that <laughs> dare i say it we need an actual farmer in charge of defra not someone that thinks they know what they're doing and um yeah that'd be great so i'm going to sign out on thursday night and i wish you all the best keep on troshing <laughs>